and this is the guard cipher. So, so yeah, build on the time period of the guard cipher. Like, so, you know. um, like, um, uh, I want to say it's like maybe March. I want to say from what I remember what I had on March. It might have been April. But I think it was like March, right? Mm. And, you know what I mean? What, what my goals? You know this guy was Um, Nah, this guy understanding. Nah, it's okay. March. March, okay, right. Yeah, so I'm with my cats, you know what I mean? We running around, you know what I mean? We playing ball, we having fun, we on the team, we got the girlies, we fly, you know what I mean? Life, life, life good. Mm. You know? So I see Saheem and he asked me, he's like, yo, be with them dudes all the time, man. You teaching them? Mm. I'm like, nah, that's my buddies, that's my pals. Hmm. Like, yo, you shouldn't be around them if you ain't teaching them. Mm. So, um, about a week later, you know, maybe a little bit more than a week, but it was shortly thereafter, um, it's an incident where two other cats, you know what I mean, they come in trying to shake us down. Mm. But it's three of us. Now my two buddies, they run. Mm. One of them, one of the other cats that's trying to shake us down is chasing both of them. Mm. While I'm tussling with the other one. So he can't catch them, so the other one come back. You know what I mean? Now, now they raking me over. You know what I mean? Trying to get me for my gold and my garments. Mm. Um, you know, even though they bigger than me and older than me, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of athletic. You know, so. I'm, I'm, I'm holding, I'm holding mine for a minute. Um, and one of them tried to hit me with a bottle. Mm. Alright? So I weave the bottle and it break on the fence that's behind me. So now he just got the jagged edge. You know what I mean? And one of them grabbed me, he put the bottle up by them by my neck, the jagged edge. And now he's like, yo, yo, take your coat off, take your coat off, take your coat off. I'm like, yo, I can't, I can't. The man holding me, he's in the way. Mm. I can't take it off, tell your man to move. All right, and when he move a little bit, you know, me thinking, you know, I'm the super athlete that I am, so I easily could weave my way around this one. Mm. Um, and he was trying to, then he, when he seen me move, he tried to cut my throat with the bottle. Mm. Um, I was able to weave around it, but just barely, you know what I mean? The way he ended up cutting, it didn't cut my throat, but it ended up cutting me under my chin. Mm. You know, so somebody looking at it, it might look like my throat was cut. I'm leaking all over the place. Wow. So just then, Sahim, Baha, Kaim, they come around the corner, and Lamik was there too. All right. Let's see what's going on. See me mm. leaking all over the goddamn sidewalk. So when the dudes see them, they start running. Hmm. All right. Uh, now me, he stopped, give me a handkerchief, try to bandage me up, take me to the hospital. You know what I mean? The rest of them was chasing after them, 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 them other dudes. They caught one of them, and one of them got away. Mm. You know what I mean? The one, the, the one that got caught, he, he, he got broke up. Right, um, and, and Lamik took me to the hospital. Um, so I could get my, myself back together and get stitched up. So a couple days later, I see Saheem again. He's like, yo, what happened? You know, what, 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 give, me, give me the details. Mm. So I tell him, you know what I mean? That the people that I was with, and the Stanley came, they ran and left me. And the first thing he said was like, I know there wasn't no five percenters. No five percenters wouldn't have ran and left me. Must have been your pals. <laughs> <laughs> if Mega did this.